Hello everyone, it is Sunday, the 7th of December. I got my little heater going, and uh, just about to sit down and have a meal. Not, kind of like sukiyaki, except I put it in a frying pan. There we got kind of like a soy based sauce. I threw in some uh, goma and garlic, and here is actually a goma <laughs> based sauce, like a uh, creamy sauce. And I got some lettuce, some cabbage, some pork in there and Daigaku Emo um, from the day before. So today I wanted to talk about, just for a little bit, uh, I took the JLPT uh, third level today. Um, it went really well. Um, I wasn't really too worried about it. Um, uh, I guess I've been saying at a point, I'm now between Nikyu and Sankyu, um, closer to Sankyu, so I decided to take that just to you know have something on my record. Um, and it went really well. The first part was, uh, is it kanji and vocab? That's probably the hard, maybe the hardest section. They're all pretty easy, but um, yeah, that went pretty well. Kanji wasn't really a problem. Uh, in one of the questions, there was a vocab word I didn't know where you had to find uh, how to use this in the best meaning. Uh oh, camera's fogging up. Um, so that's pretty. That went pretty well. Listening went really well. I think there's only me. There's one I wasn't sure on, because um, there's a vocab word I didn't know, and you kind of needed to know that uh, to answer the question. But uh, not knowing one out of out of uh, the rest wasn't bad. And then the last part was hella easy. Um, you have 70 minutes. I think I finished in 35 minutes, so I basically had to sit there for 35 minutes because um, they won't let you leave early. Um, but it was really easy. It's like the the reading comprehension, grammar, blah blah blah. So that was good. Um, when I first walked in the room, um, I took it at uh, Beppu Daigaku. Um, I thought I'd walked. <laughs> I walked in the classroom. And I was like, oh, Why are there a bunch of Japanese people? Um, <laughs> but don't worry, they weren't Japanese. Yeah, that was just a little brain fart. And I was like, oh, Okay. So we had. Um, let's see. To my left, some, a guy from the Philippines. To the right. Um, and in front of me there's guy, two people from Vietnam, um, diagonal from me was a guy from China, there were a lot of Korean people here, that were there, um, some Thai I believe, and then maybe a couple other Americans, a British, um, but yeah, basically it was mostly from Asian countries, um, yeah, it was it was interesting. It was fun because not everyone spoke English, but we all spoke Japanese. Well, at least to to some level. So it was cool uh, interacting and talking with people, um, you know, through Japanese and whatnot. The test. Oh my God, they draw the test out. Um, I have my test booklet here. Let's see. I used I did a practice test, and I would just shoot through those all three sections in a row. And this, they really break it up. Let me. My little test voucher. We have 9.45 we started and we went to 10.35 of Hawaiian vocabulary. That includes time you have the pass out materials and whatnot. But actually, the test taking part was just 35 minutes, um, but they allot, let's see, 45 minutes or 50 minutes for that. And then you have a 40 minute break. And then we have listening, which goes for 35 minutes. And then you have an hour break, which is, I guess, lunch break. And then you go 70 minutes for the reading and grammar. But, um, yeah, they just stretched this shit too long. So it started officially at 9.45 and went to 2.35. But, uh, I mean, you can finish it in about... And a lot under than that, 70, 70... So you can finish in about 2 hours 20 minutes if you take the full time, but I mean when I did practice tests, finish in like an hour and a half about, or maybe a little longer. But yeah, so anyways, it went really well, no surprises, um, good stuff, hopefully I'll be taking, I guess I'll take NEQ next year. Um, I don't think I'm going to really study for NEQ, because I think studying for the test isn't really help you that much. I mean, it improves your vocab and whatnot, but I think my the goal of my next studies will be um, basically on s just speaking, the communication part, um, kanji, and then also just sort of areas I'm interested in um, and learning relevant vocab there. Um, otherwise, just studying test material is 
okay, you can take the JLPT, but can you really function in Japanese society? And, um, you know, can you do you really understand the language? Yeah, you can learn the language to take the test, or you can actually learn the language. At least that's my view. Um, certainly, the, the test um, measures some aspect of your language, but also it's important to be able to use it in social situations, blah, blah, yada, yada. You know what I'm talking about going on and on. But yeah, so for everyone else who took it today, good luck. Hope things went well. Um, hope you're taking a little break um, from hardcore studying at least. Um, but yeah, just happy to say it went well. Results come out in next year in February, I believe. Just kind of a long wait, but uh, what can you do? Alright, catch you guys later.